Employees who feel connected to the organization work harder, stay longer, and motivate others to do the same. Employee engagement affects just about every important aspect of your organization, including profitability, revenue, customer experience, employee turnover, and more. Now, research shows that 92% of business executives believe that engaged employees perform better, boosting the success of their teams and the outcomes of their organizations. There is a lot of information out there about how to improve employee engagement, some credible and some not. And HR leaders have heard a wide variety of employee engagement definitions. But what exactly is employee engagement? To truly drive employee engagement in your organization, you first need to define it and understand what it looks like. We will be looking at that on the show today. Welcome to Business Insight and Plus TV Africa. I am Justin Akadone. Uh, just before we get into the discussion proper, Empowering Nigerians for the demand of workplace and self-reliance will reduce the unemployment rate, especially among the youths. Now, this was the position of a group at the One Day Work Skills Employability and Entrepreneurship Program. Details in this report. The nation's higher educational institutions equip graduates with hard skills while neglecting the development of employability skills, which are core for transitioning into the labor market as well as for workplace productivity. The lack of these skills in graduates keeps them in the pool of the unemployed, no matter their degree of certification. Now, Executive Director Ego Foundation Tuluashi Olaniyo says this project aims to equip participants with the right skill set for employment and also prepare them for the world of entrepreneurship. Uh, a good number of young people um, are currently not unemployed, they're able. And this is because uh, they lack the basic skills like critical thinking, problem solving solving those skills that can help them perform in the labor market. So employers are not getting what they want from them. Unfortunately, they're able to employ them. And after the flag up of this project, we're setting up um, mentoring and coaching um, centers across different institutions where students are able to speak to coaches and are able to like have continuous um, career development sessions so that it doesn't just end here. One of the unique aspects of this training is to provide access to jobs for selected participants and also expose them to the realities of the workplace. Employability is an important part of um, our economic growth because when the people of the nation or the society are employed, productivity is increased as a company, I mean as a country, and um, the GDP of the country also try some productivity. A way forward is for people to actually consider a lot of capacity building trainings. The four walls of an academic institution is not going to provide all the kind of knowledge and skills you need. You have to self-develop, self-train yourself through different taking part in trainings, capacity building and the likes. There are several causes of graduate unemployment in Nigeria, including an inelastic labor market to absorb the turnover. Some of the participants share their thoughts. Still by skill acquisition, because most of the like most most companies now, I don't know how to put that English. Like they don't really want to employ more because technology is already taking over over lots of um, jobs now. With the help of writing a good CV, because majority of us, I think the reason why we are not seeing good jobs is because of not, like, not, like you can't write good CVs. So with this program now, so they are teaching us how to write good CVs on how to get good jobs. Another way to address the challenge of employability skill-induced employment is to incorporate the learning of these skills in the curriculum of higher education. 